Alright, hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to continue our timed run in Dark Dimension 7. But first, I want to point out that there's a maybe a bug. I don't know how this plays out. We'll see what the devs end up saying. But uh, if you if you recall, if you have Apocalypse, you know that at the start of any match, not like Wave 2 or Wave 3 or whatever, but at the start of the match, enemies' characters cannot spawn with safeguards. So keep that in mind because there's a couple of Red Hulks on this first wave that spawn with safeguard and immunity and that's because on spawn if Hulk is an ally which he is on the first wave gain safeguard and immunity but I mean if we're playing semantics here right he's spawning with safeguard and immunity because Hulk is an ally so I think what's happening is there's a conditional check that's happening and therefore it's not being treated as being on spawn so tomato tomato I don't think it's right it causes the first wave to be a bit of a, uh, a, a tight rope uh, walking act by not trying to uh, give them a bunch of charges but uh, I'll submit I'll clip it and I'll submit it into the player experience person uh, Stark and see what they say because I don't think it's right I think it's um, it, especially if you're trying to uh, control the night crawlers as well and you're gonna see see watch this on spawn, boom, there you go. See, I think the sequence, the conditional check for Hulk is what's what's not allowing the passive to work. Uh, that's my opinion, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna do this over here. So, so basically this is me trying to make sure that I do not give Red Hulk enough charges. I have to let them go first so the safeguard drops. So there is a bit of a tightrope uh, walking act, like I said. Because I have to now hope he doesn't, you don't keep pinging him through adjacent attacks and whatnot. See, he has one and one. Um, I'm going to do this as well. Boom. I'm just using the basic because I don't want to give them unnecessary charges before they go, uh, before they take their turn. Now I will use this. Um, boom. Okay, great. And then I'm going to also stun. This one is controlled, I believe. I think that's the first one I hit with an ability block. Yep. So I'm going to stun this Nightcrawler here and hope he does not hit the Red Hulk. He does. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We're uh, we're still in business a bit. I'm going to do the basic here so I don't uh, hit any of the Red Hulks. Great. Um, I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to use the basics again. Boom, boom, boom. His Mephisto's basic is a bit weird. It's not. What happened there? I thought he was. Uh... Oh, that was the basic. All right, cool. All right, so he finally used his. Uh, uh, took a turn. So I'm going to ability block him. So he's controlled. Good. Um, I am going to go ahead and use this because I do still. I also have to worry about this Icarus. I don't want Icarus blowing up on me. So let's get some speed bar, boom. All the bleeds are applied and he gets to basically go again. And then I'm gonna ability block this uh, Icarus if I can actually target him. Come on, man. There we go. Boom. There we go. The Red Hulk uh, counters can be quite damaging and, and, and leave uh, Robbie Reyes exposed. Uh, I'm just going to do the basic on this because I don't want to give him another charge. He's about to go next and, and, and see the bad part here is I have to hope he does not target uh, Robbie Reyes. Hope is not a very good course of action. Okay, boom. Oh no, he's test. Uh, I got to redo this. Uh, let's, let's do this again. 
See what I mean? So that, and that's that's otherwise I could have controlled him a long time ago. And that's that's why that disparity in how the actual passive works is important. I mean, I'm rolling in here with the best characters in the game, um, and I have to do this nonsense with this uh, tightrope uh, walking act. So um, hopefully they can fix it because I don't think it's right. All right, so here we go. Boom. Don't hit Red Hulk. Don't hit Red Hulk. Yeah, he does. He hits. He hits. Uh, I was hoping to get this Nightcrawler instead. Um, I'll go ahead and um, I'll do the basic here and hope he hits that Nightcrawler, but not the Red Hulk. Great. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use this uh, the Empowered Ultimate. I'm going to stun this Nightcrawler if he's targeted. Come on, man. Okay, uh, yep, he's not controlled, and I have to hope again that he goes right. He does. Don't hit that Hulk, though. Okay, great. <laughs> see, see what I mean? It's stupid. Uh, but, you know, I guess that's part of the fun. Boom. I didn't use the ult because I did not want to give... Because I know I'm going to use this. So I didn't want to give them another... Um, charge because that if I use the uh, Robbie Reyes ultimate I mean they're at four now right not two not three so here comes uh, Red Hulk I'm just gonna use the basic I'm gonna lean in on this on this uh, Icarus I'm gonna do this in the middle so I don't hit Red Hulk and trigger their or give them a charge right good so this Red Hulk this time did not uh, choose to go over here um, I will now ability block him. So now he's controlled. Now here he goes. All right, good. See, look at that. Even even my old man Logan almost bit it. So um, I'm not going to do the ult because that's going to give him his. I don't. I want to control this guy before he's uh, blows him. Decides to blow me up. So I'm going to go in on this Icarus. Boom. Okay, great. We are going to... I, I'm not going to use this, and I'll tell you why. It's later on. I've done this a few times now. There's an apocalypse that drops, and you have to be able to delete him out. Um, otherwise, he just kind of lingers around and lives forever, and that's not what we want. So that's the reason why. Now I can control Red Hulk. Great. Boom, he's controlled. It doesn't matter if he gets his fifth charge. And now I can just go ham on him. Boom. Unleash uh, the mayhem and chaos. Oh, come on now. Um, that is one of the things bad about Red Hulk. I mean, uh, Robbie Reyes. He's he's probably the most vulnerable of the lot. And this, I believe this, uh, this Cersei goes next. Boom. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, good. So that's not a big deal. Now we get into uh, stun one of these guys, so we don't have to worry about them ever again. Or maybe I'll do this ult or this uh, nightcrawler, so he can't ult on me. Since these guys are pretty much controlled. Oops. Well, that sucks. Um, let's go boom. Usually on, on my other attempts, these uh, Red Hulks are already dead, but uh, for some reason they've uh, survived on this attempt. But that's fine. We can still uh, farm uh, energy, which is what we want. We need everything to be ready for that uh, Apocalypse Ultimate. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan's ultimate I haven't really paid attention too much on how he's getting all this ability energy, but uh, his ultimate is always ready. Look at that, he just got another energy, ability energy for himself. Um, I'm not going to unnecessarily burn this. Let's work on Gambit to get rid of his pings. He's controlled, they're all controlled. Let's keep working on Gambit. Okay, I'm not going to use this. 
boom. Okay, um, I should have gotten rid of that, that one Hulk before he dropped because he spawned with safeguard and immunity. Not a big deal, but not ideal either. We need to get rid of this gambit. This gambit is doing putting my putting my uh, Robbie Ray is at risk here. Now, I'm going to do this over here because I don't want a chance getting uh, pinged by Red uh, this Hulk, uh, the Red Hulk. So I'm going to stun this guy so he can quit pinging me. This Red Hulk really isn't that big of a deal. Um, you still have to account for him. And this Nightcrawler is still around. Look at He should just pass. He has 29 things on him. Um, oh, I shouldn't have used it, but uh, that's okay. There's more speed bar. Great. That was a bit of a chance there. He has, he has two charges now. Um, I'm going to work on this forge. Hopefully it does not hit the Red Hulk. It does not. Great. Okay, great. Now we can uh, control him. Although he's going to get countered. Hopefully he doesn't die. Okay, good. He resisted some of that. Now let's use the ultimate. Boom. Yeah, this wave can be a lot easier if you do use the Apocalypse Ult, but like I said, I've done this a few times now, and I am simply waiting for the that one Apocalypse to drop. Um, that's where this ends up falling apart, because I don't have his uh, ability, his ultimate ready to at the very beginning, and that's when I need it the most. And uh, let's go ahead and do this, boom. I probably should have saved that. Um, let's go ahead and stun him. Let's work on uh, trying to uh, reduce their uh, all their health e equally. Boom, boom. Now I do definitely want to make sure I get rid of this Red Hulk because I don't want him to drop with Apocalypse. They had some synergy there, so we don't want that. Boom. Okay, Red Hulk is toast. Um, the next wave has a Quicksilver. Let's get rid of this Forge. Boom. Not that big of a deal. These Hulk posters are pretty much just uh, paper tigers. They're pretty trash. Um, but they do give their allies some barriers, some additional stuff you have to get through so but not a big deal okay good we're ready and i want uh, everyone's abilities to be ready look he just collapses and dies i actually want this uh, hulkbuster to go so he burns it already let him use his ultimate okay that forge passed out okay good used it the slow i do want to get rid of the slow though that's not good Okay, boom. Okay, good, is everyone ready? Is everybody, <laughs> here he comes. Um, I do have to control the Quicksilver. I'm gonna stun him. And hopefully we can get Mephisto stuff back too. Now the, the note on the website says it drops with less than three enemies remaining, but uh, I don't know. Um, I've, I've never understood the the information on the website versus what actually happens. So <laughs> the, the website's probably wrong. All right, so cool. We're getting, we're getting to the point where someone should be dropping. Here we go. The bad part is that he has offense down. That sucks. Well, at least Mephisto's ultimate is ready. Boom. Um, I'm going to do this so he can't gain a uh, safeguard. And then we're going to stun this Quicksilver. This Quicksilver can be quite a mess. 
then I'm going to, I believe this extends, prolonged the uh, duration of bleed zone. Um, yeah, let's use it. Let's use it. So boom. Should be able to go again. No, he got stunned. That's fine. Boom, we got to lean into uh, Apocalypse. Um, because once, if we can get him low enough and then Apocalypse can delete him, we got it. This is over. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. That should be enough, man. Come on now. Got him. No. <laughs> Come on now. Look at that. That's such a mess. That's such BS, man. That Come on now. So he doesn't get, uh, he didn't get safeguard, which is good. Now we can at least, but uh, I tell you what, I did all that for potentially getting rid of him and he he cheated his way through this. All right, let's go, boom. Um, I need to stun this guy because he's about to kill my Robbie Reyes and we don't want that. Uh, worst case scenario, I mean, I, I just want Robbie Reyes' ultimates or his abilities to be ready just in case uh, he dies so that he won't, we won't be screwed over in the, um, you know, we won't be screwed over in the, um, the start of the city section. I shouldn't, you know, there's no need to put another ability block on him. I just did it just because I wanted to hit that group. Um, I'm doing this over here because I want to speed bar rewind forge. I don't want him to get his uh, ultimate off. I'm not sure if we can avoid that because he has he has all this stuff on him. Um, let's go and do this. Boom. Okay, cool. Hmm. Let's I believe he does a percent health damage. What what oh he he did his retaliatory attack and it's mmm mm, mm, mm. okay so Quicksilver is awake now. We need to get rid of this dude. He he'll he'll murder my entire group. Um let's get rid of him. No we did not. Let's get rid of him. Great, he's toast. I'm a little worried about this forge now. Um, I'm not going to hit him because obviously he's healing himself back up. Okay, let's reduce his, uh, I believe this reduces his max health. Fantastic. Don't bring, he's going to bring someone back, isn't he? No, he didn't. Fantastic. Let's stun him. Boom. I'm not quite sure why this dude has a... Uh, I probably should have done this on this Nokia. This Nokia is murder. Okay, let's do this. Boom. I swear I thought he did a he did a percent health damage. I thought it was like five percent or something. Um. All right, let's go. Boom. Now, ideally, I think we're pretty much on our way to the one shot. Ideally. I can have everyone's cooldowns ready for their respective sections. Look at this apocalypse, just won't die. Boom. Um, okay, let's finally ability block this dude. So he's to so this this node is over. This node has been one shot. I'm gonna count my chickens before they hatch. I'm gonna save this stuff, like I said. I want to have them ready for the city section. All their cooldowns. Get rid of this dude, please. Uh, I want him to be ready as well. So. Should we put this on? Is this. My, <laughs> we're gonna put it on auto basic. Let's so hope this, they don't just come back from the dead. Oh, let's not do that. Yeah, I think we're good. We should be good. Oh, look at that. See, playing around, messing around. So let's stun this dude. We get enough ability energy back anyway. So, okay. So Apocalypse is toast. I'm saving that. Boom. Saving that. That's not a big deal. These, these Hulkbusters are garbage. 
Boom. That that Cyclops, that was an error there. I mean, that Cyclops sneakily uh, got an ultimate off on me. Okay. Man, why won't these guys die? I'm going to go ahead and use it because... I mean, he gets his stuff back so much that whatever. Just use it. Boom. Because uh, the basics just aren't doing enough damage to get these dudes off the board. Um, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. I thought there was an exposed hit that should be happening. Okay, here we go. Boom. Stun him. Okay, so everything should be controlled here. And now let's just get our abilities back. Okay, the gambit's toast. Let's get rid of this forge. Okay, Apocalypse is getting there. Cyclops is probably going to do something cheating. No, he does not. Great. We're, we're trying to get Scroll there as well. Okay, great. So I want to see where everyone's... Okay, two more, two more abilities and he's uh, topped off. One more, he's good to go. Two more, he's good to go. And we're good to go. All right, uh, that's going to be the end of this note. So we have one shot. Uh, all of the unrestricted section with uh, uh, this Motley crew, obviously with Mephisto on your second run. Um, now, you don't have to. The one, uh, for some reason, I just I just felt like uh, with this crew, I should be able to one-shot, and I did, obviously, every single node. So let's review real quick. The unrestricted section is done. Uh, let's see here. First run, uh, first node, one shot with uh, this crew, the same crew, same crew here. And there you go. All right, uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, hopefully you learned something about this. I know it's not like a uh, very informative video as it relates to, uh, well, I mean, there are points in the, in, the, in the node itself in terms of ways where you have to Maybe you learn something like keeping these things in check, like, you know, uh, making sure not to trigger the Red Hulks if you're able to control them with whoever you bring in. Um, or, uh, you know, like the second wave where if I would have, when the, then the third Red Hulk drops, hopefully you've gotten rid of the Hulk itself. And also getting ready for that apocalypse um, can be very troublesome because he just lives forever. But uh, but anyways, but if you apply that exposed on him, then, he, then you're able to... At least if when he gets his first special off here, he's not going to get a safeguard. And then, then you're, he's susceptible to anything like flipping like Old Man Logan does, right? So, um, all right, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, please like and subscribe and join the content. And I will see you on the next one. City is up next, I believe, right? Yep, City is next. All right, uh, see you in a bit. Thanks.